So, hey, saints. It's Sister with the Testimony, and I'm out here with Hope, and um, we're working today. So, I've been talking to the Lord about what He wants me to do, and what He wants Hope to do, and um, we have a plan, and we believe that it's the Lord's plan. So, while she's chewing on her tongue because she's bored, I'm going to share a word with you. I don't know if you can see her pretty shows that or not, but she's all spruced up. I'll see if I can get her to move around for you. Move around, Hope. Move around. Move over. Good girl. Say hello to everybody, Hope. So She's more interested in me wanting to feed her. It's almost time for her breakfast. But um, I got a word, and it's really a cool word. What I used to do, I don't know if you can see the ribbons or not, but I have ribbons from North Carolina, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, all the places that I've shown horses for over the years as an amateur. And um, never thought about doing anything professionally, but I have a lot of wisdom and knowledge with horses. And the Lord keeps saying, hope is the ministry. And um, I got a scripture yesterday that I want to share with you all. And it'll pretty much tell the tale. Come on, Hope. Get up here. You're the star. I'm just the, uh, I'm just the helper. The Lord gave me 1 Corinthians chapter... Oh, I'm trying to remember now. Might have been 10, 13. Oh, no, it's not. I found it. Yay! The Lord said in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 21, You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and the table of devils. So I got to thinking about it, saints. And, of course, you can see the table right here. And it's filled with um, ribbons and trophies and all of the things that I used to do with horses and now the Lord is, uh, he has given me a completely different way to go. And I said, Lord, what is an idol? An idol is anything, anything that comes between you and the Lord. And I, you know, I got to thinking about this and I'm like, oh my gosh, Lord, what are you saying? Well, Showing horses, there's nothing wrong with showing horses. There's nothing wrong with loving a horse or having a, a pet or anything. But if the horse or the horse showing becomes your idol and this table being full of ribbons and trophies and things that I have achieved on my own or so I thought, that's not what God is looking for. He's looking for us to completely surrender to him, to surrender to his will, and to surrender to his way. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12, it says, Wherefore, let him think it that he standeth, take heed lest he fall. Well, think about that, Hope. I know you're going to help me preach this sermon because you're my new pulpit. Saints, every man that strives for mastery is going to be temperate in all things. We're to do this to obtain a... They do it to obtain a corruptible crown. We should do it for an incorruptible crown. So when I was out in the world and showing horses and the horse was my idol, I was just totally off balance. You know, the horse was my whole life. The horse was everything. Now, saints, I'm ready to sell the horse, sell all that, and just go completely for the Lord. And the Lord keeps telling me, no, hope is the ministry. The ministry of the Lord is that we would help other people, that we would help them to become what God wants them to be. partaker of the altar of the Lord and be 
so involved and engrossed in a hobby that you take your eyes off the Lord. So at this point in my life, all things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are not necessary for me to partake in. Not everything is going to edify me now. I am to seek not my own, but every man's wealth for him to be healthy and wealthy and wise and for the other person. I am not supposed to be following my own thing. The ribbons and the trophies and all of the class wins. And I've won a lot. I've done a lot of horse showing. And I have done a lot of pleasing myself. So now, instead of pleasing myself and spending all that money on horse shows and clothes and trucks and trailers and horse trainers and riding lessons, I'm going to give back. I'm going to teach other people how to enjoy life, how to enjoy their relationship with the Lord through Hope on a Star. And the Lord gave me a scripture even for that, and I'll do that in a different video. But Hope is not supposed to be a pet. She's not supposed to be someone's yard art. Hope on a Star is a minister in her own right, and Hope on a Star is now going to be my pulpit. So instead of having a pulpit like this, check it out, Hope. What do you think about that pulpit, Hope? Instead of this being my pulpit with a Bible and I'm preaching to people, like, here we go. All right, here we go. Yep, there it is. There's the pulpit. No, if you look up the word pulpit, it means an elevated place. Hope is going to be my pulpit. Hope is going to be known as the Mount of Olivet. The Mount of Olives. Have you ever heard of that? The Mount of Olives. I know. So, I'm introducing you to my new pulpit. The Mount of Olives. Olivet. That'll be her Facebook and YouTube name. But the Lord said, put your hope in me. So if I'm hoping in the Lord, and he's given me a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful animal. Hope on a star. She's going to be my new pulpit. She's the Mount of Olives sermon. So there's another ministry out there called uh, Sermon on the Mount. Mine is <laughs> Sermon on the Mount of Olives. So, don't partake of the cup of devils and the cup of the Lord at the same time and think that you're doing anything for the Lord. Because I'm telling you, saints, all of this stuff, all of these ribbons, I have box after box of trophies and ribbons and um, so many things that I've done with horses over the years. And I can tell you what, none of them are more rewarding than speaking a word off of, off of my horse that is your mount that is your pulpit so y'all pray for me in this new endeavor um, I did it last year I posted on Facebook I went over to um, the cowboy church and I was able to give a short uh, 15 minute sermon at off from the Mount of Olives the Olivet and it was just like, wow, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So pray for me. God bless you, saints. It's Sister with a Testimony with, come on, get up here, with my new pulpit. This is the new pulpit. This is the real one, an elevated place. Yeah, she'll keep me on my toes. So y'all pray for me. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over you to hide and protect and keep you in all your ways, saints. Oh, wow. It's a wonder she didn't try to eat my artificial plant, huh? But yeah, I've um, I've shown horses all over the country. You know, first place is blue, second place is red, third place is yellow, fourth place is white, fifth place is pink, 
and sixth place is green. So I have all the colors of the rainbow. Of course, I have a probably a whole lot more first than anything, and I'm not bragging. I'm just giving God the glory. I should have done that a long time ago. But, you know, all of these ribbon saints mean nothing if you have no word in you. Tell them hope. Tell them hope. And she's really good with the camera. It's so funny. She loves to have the attention. But saints, this is where my attention is. And if I can use this horse to get this word out to the public to tell them there's nothing wrong with showing horses and winning all these awards, but that shouldn't be your reward. Your reward should be pointing people to the gospel so that when you get to heaven, there aren't going to be any first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth place finishers. Saints, you either going to finish the race that God set before you and win that prize, that eternal prize, or this table that is set before you drinking the cup of um, devils and of the Lord at the same time, it's, it's never going to work, saints. And, um, you know, I didn't show horses and spend all that money and all that time on a hobby because I thought I was doing something evil. I didn't have any, I did not have a clue that a horse had become my idol. But now that I know that the horse had become my idol, I renounced it. I said, I'm ready to get rid of the horse. I'm ready to sell her. I'll do anything you want me to do, Lord. So long story short, saints, the Lord said, I'm going to use this mare as a tool to reach people. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was so funny. I stopped talking for a minute. She's like, uh, why aren't you talking, Mom? Give them some sugars. Come on. Give them some sugars. Give them some. Oh, there you go. Give them some sugars. There you go. God bless you, saints. I love you. It's uh, Sister with a Testimony with my new pulpit. I'm, uh, again, I'm trading in the traditional pulpit for the Mount of Olivet, the Mount of Olives. Uh, so ha say hey to Olive. Olive. There she is. See? God bless you. I love you, saints. Sister with a testimony. Yes, pretty horse, pretty saddle. God bless you.